Well, 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 it is never a dull moment here in internet marketing product creation land. No sooner than I've spent $300 odd on a Blackmagic Intensity than this little application arrives on my doorstep. It's called Reflection and it's at www.reflectionapp.com. And what it does is it turns your Apple computer, your iMac, your MacBook Air, into a Apple TV receiver so it can do AirPlay. What does that mean, I hear you say? Well, that is indeed a great question because with the magic of tapping this, ta-da, check this out. Here we have the iPad. Yes, this is my iPad and it is streaming in real time via Wi-Fi. No, uh, no wires at all. I can tip it up the side here. And look at that, it goes to the, that way and then I tip it back this way. It looks fantastic. Now, it looks as though the quality is slightly lower than if I was using a hardware uh, device, but boy, not too shabby. I can also go to a full screen mode here to really just sort of, uh, oh, and that makes it bigger as well. So that's probably quite worthwhile uh, in the scheme of things. But let's run it through its paces. It's brilliant but it's not perfect just yet. So let's do a little bit of stress testing, which is how I do things. So you might be interested in watching me as I stress test. The obvious stress test here though is video, right? Uh, being able to watch video uh, through this and record video is obviously gonna really stretch the friendship here. So I've opened up Show You, which is a magnificent app uh, for catching up on videos particularly uh, people that I follow or every video on Facebook and Twitter and everything is all dragged into this app. So I can actually have a look at it uh, in the comfort of my own home. And you can see it's a beautiful uh, looking uh, app here. And, you know, I can have a look at this travesty of justice here with Mike Dean. Let's have a look here. Now, will we have audio? Will we have video? What will it be like? Let's have a look. Look at the ref. What was that? What was that? Oh, I didn't realize. Don't read the co don't don't read the screen. Nothing to see here. But that look. Oh, let's have a look at David Jens. He'll be safe for work. So so far, that seemed to be streaming pretty darn well, really. Um, obviously, because it's it's using up the Wi-Fi in a couple of ways. It's sending out. Um, obviously all this data via the Wi-Fi network to the stream, and it's also asking for YouTube data. So here we are. So in this session, we're gonna be talking about video. So this is the video crusher section. Uh, video killed the radio star. So video, as I mentioned earlier, is- So that's working pretty well, I think. The lowest hanging fruit that is currently available. There's there's the man, let's just actually let it go because a bit more action. Because you can get videos ranked very easily. They're very there we go. They'll increase the conversion rate of your website. Very good. Thank you, Dave. And let's have a look. Uh, let's see if we can find something that's really a bit more super duper high res. Uh, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of not so for work stuff here. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. No, not so. Let's let's uh, go and have a look over this side. Uh, let's have a look at some popular ones. But so far, this is looking great, right? Totally, totally excellent. Oh, I've heard about this one. This is meant to be quite good. Another YouTube one. So so far, so good, right? Now, I'm sure you aren't watching it for this, but... Uh... There we go. <laughs> yep, 
That's freaky. We're only one step uh, away from Skynet. That's what we're talking about. Very cool. Okay, so there we have it. So that's uh, one uh, test. Another test that we can try, and I'm pretty sure this won't work with this, is using video uh, technology because I think of the copyright and the value uh, involved, I think that might be, uh, might be a bit of a problem. Yeah, it might have to uh, stream up a little bit, but I I'm really pretty sure that this won't work. Not in any way. So, unfortunately, showing a video through it and screen flowing. Uh, this is really oh. special for everyone at Apple because today's event, it's about education. Education is deep in our... Notice DNA. that this is actually gone full screen. It's actually doing an output mode. Our entire education business... So that's pretty cool. Very good. So that worked. Let's uh, keep uh, having a look here at what else we can do. Now, an obvious one, of course, is games. Now, what have we got here? Let's do... Uh, well, we'll do the old standard. But there, there are different types of games here. Um, you can obviously do things like, uh, you know, things that are... Angry Birds is not that particularly intensive. So that seems to have got all the music and everything going. Now, there are other games that have uh, external monitor support. Now, I reckon this will be really testing the friendship using real racing via this method. Because I suspect it'll, uh, it'll really stretch it. But see how it's gone full screen there? Yeah, see, that's that's definitely skipping a little bit. It's keeping the audio okay, but it's not. Uh, uh, it's obviously not doing the uh, the video quite as well. But that really is pushing the friendship. Really, it really, really is in terms of what you can do. Most business apps would be absolutely perfectly fine, I would suspect. Yeah, so it's a, it's a little bit jerky to do uh, to do all of this. If I popped in a quick race, that'll do. This has actually got dual screen support, so you actually can't... Uh, what I'm seeing on my iPad is actually different to what you're seeing because it's loading the actual game up onto the the screen and it's I've got a control panel down here underneath yeah so here we go so far that seems uh, pretty good certainly uh Playable. It's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit jerky. Not ridiculous though, and give, given what we're doing here, with these Volvo drivers, given what we're doing, this is pretty darn impressive. But you can even see an example of that. And the graphics are pretty darn good. And so, you know, this is, that's pretty amazing. You've got to be pretty impressed. And the iPad is actually showing a completely different uh, screen. To what you guys are seeing, uh, which is fantastic. I'm obviously so superior. Whoa, oh, here we are. But anyway, so that's not bad, not bad. Let's get back to our iPad. There we are. Oof. But if we look at something like, you know, Tweetbot is going to be absolutely sensational. Uh, works completely fine. Obviously, uh, it probably does slow down a little bit because it's throwing this up on screen. But the, in terms of scrolling while we're here just looks fantastic. Yeah, 
looks very great. And you can, you know, tap in and see where Mark Copeman's going for his holidays. So if anybody wants to stalk the lovely Mark Copeman, we'll have a look at this. You know, th life must be good. This is a pretty darn good place to go on a holiday, I think. Anyway, that looks nice. Look at that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that after a bit of freezing cold London winter. Uh, but so there we have it. That all looks very good. Um, in terms of other things that, you know, I would typically use with this, obviously doing different orientations works absolutely fine. And demonstrating most apps is absolutely fine too. Like it doesn't, I could play music with this while, you know, using one of these magnificent apps like, you know, classics like Seth. So for a lot of people, this is a revolution because what you can do now is record without wires, record just over Wi-Fi. And for a lot of people, this opens up a whole world of new content creation using your iPad. But you can do all of that. It works well. Now, <laughs> there are still, it's the first version. It can be a little bit buggy. But in the main, if you start everything fresh and record what you need to do, use ScreenFlow to do the recordings you get a wonderful product, as you can see here. So there you go, newsflash. Just a reminder, that is, uh, <coughs> pardon me, Reflections, there we are. Uh, Reflection is the name of the app. It's reflectionapp.com, and it is very inexpensive. A single user license, I think, is uh, $15. Let's just uh, tap on that and just double check. Yeah, $14.99, and a five license is $39.99. So compared to spending three to nine hundred dollars on equipment which is what i've done um and then you've got all the cables and all the mixing and all that sort of stuff this will work a treat so enjoy this this is like this is going to be fabulous for people so you have products you use ScreenFlow. it's going to be a sensation